Nusra Namtevi studied up to primary six. She says at the time, the language of instruction depended on which part of Uganda the school was located. In her case, the school was in Buganda, so they were taught in Luganda. Namtebi was born in 1951. She started out as a girl guide and later became a girl scout. <laughs> Namutebi acquired invaluable skills back then, and this helped shape the person she later became in life. Now holding the title Hajat, after making the pilgrimage to Mecca, Namutebi vividly remembers the day she caught the attention of former Buganda king Sir Edward Walugembe Mutesa, who later became Uganda's first president. It was at an event in her school, and she stood out among the pupils singing for the visiting king. Namtebi worked for a while at Chitebi Primary School as a secretary, but the pay was a pittance, so she quit. Aged 64 now, Namutebi now mainly earns a living from a small piece of land used as a parking yard in Wankulukuhu, a Kampala suburb. This asset brings in a small but assured daily income. One of the things she is grateful that scouting taught her is to lose fear. Namutebi has seven children and a number of grandchildren. Despite being a Muslim, Hajat was at one time the secretary to Emmanuel Cardinal Amala, then head of Kampala Catholic Archdiocese. One day, he asked what gift he could give her in appreciation of her work. She told him she wanted to go to Rome. <laughs> This Muslim lady had no misgivings about meeting the Pope. She says scouting taught her to accept all people as they are and not call them names. In fact, right next to her residence is a Catholic church that was built in remembrance of the first Catholic missionaries to Uganda. On arrival, this is where they spent their first night. It depresses her that many able-bodied men and women today are lazy. They would rather beg than work to earn their keep. But what really breaks her heart is the way girls and fellow women dress today. She would rather that the contemporary woman stops embarrassing herself and train children to know better. This year, the Uganda Scouts Association marks 100 years of existence. Namutebi looks back with pride and a feeling of fulfillment that she has been part of that centennial journey. Josephine Karunji, NTV.